What's going on in Haiti is a reminder that we are all part of one body. And as I talk today about food, health, hunger, and obesity, I want to suggest to you that this is nothing more than yet another discussion about us all being part of one body. So as I was preparing for this talk, I, I went into uh, the scripture to find uh, what I thought might be some appropriate scripture. I'm not going to read this, but you all know the five loaves and two fishes feeding 5,000. You know that miracle, um, and that speaks to our challenge. How do we take the five loaves and two fish that we have and feed those who don't have a regular source of food every single day. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about food. Food is so very important as we know. I'm a health guy and it boils down to a handful of things that we need to optimize our health. We need access to healthy affordable food. We need to move our bodies more than we move them quite frankly. Maybe not those of you in this room. You all look very fit. I will always pander to the crowd. And I would say to you, and I will try to make the case today, and as you think about this, your legislative agenda, even as you think about food, educational attainment is a very, very important piece of the puzzle for health. And it's a very, very important piece of the puzzle even for food because as we each navigate our way through supermarkets, uh, some of us with the resources to buy the foods that are uh, healthier perhaps than others, you need some means by which to decide which of the foods you are going to purchase. An observation has been made though that it's not just about food in our supermarkets. U.S. agricultural policies have contributed to the low cost of food in our country. And I don't know if you know this, but the cost of food in the United States in terms of percent of a household income to buy food is on the low side. Now that doesn't mean it's as low for everybody. For some it's really low. For others it's relatively low. But what has happened is that not all food groups have been affected equally. Sugars, fats, and foods that are generally not necessarily your best first choice have gotten less and less expensive. Fruits and vegetables, on the other hand, have gotten relatively higher in price. And if you remember Economics 101, when it's less expensive, we consume more of it. And when it's more expensive, we consume less of it. Sometimes we talk about, well, you know what? We just got to figure out how to get people to quit eating that fast food. And that's a real simple and simplistic notion. Fast food is among the cheapest food out there. And if you are a family with a limited income and you're trying to figure out how to feed your family, um, a handful of burgers and fries may be the smartest choice you can make in your own mind with the resources that you got. So even as we think about that being a strategy that we might pursue, we've also got to think about how we level the playing field for healthier food. To tell a family that they should be eating apples and broccoli when what you could buy in terms of apples and broccoli doesn't begin to give you the belly satisfaction that burgers and fries will, it's a tough sell. And part of that could be corrected, might be corrected, with agricultural policy. There are a variety of systems in our country that affect uh, all kinds of things about how we live our lives. There's the health care system, and gosh, we've heard a whole lot about that. But there's the food system, there's the transportation system, and, and, and there's the educational system, to name but a few. Each of those has a an important role to play in our health and in the health of children in our nation. We live in a rich country. We live in a country that actually produces substantially more food than there are people to consume it in our country. 
Um, and that's one of the reasons some argue that we weigh more than we do, because it's so inexpensive to buy it and eat it that we do, but not everyone gets to buy it and eat it equally. So while 85% of American households were food secure in 2008, about 15% of Americans were food insecure at least some of the time during the past year, including 6% with very low food security. The good news is there are programs out there that are serving people. The challenge is that not all people who are eligible are taking advantage of those programs. And in some states, I won't mention which ones, uh, we sometimes don't have enough employees to get people enrolled to be able to take advantage of those programs. And those are some challenges that we need to deal with. We talk about insurance, which is important. But listen, I'm a doctor and I get to say this. Ha having a card that gets you to see a doctor is not going to automatically make you healthier. And we might do more to think about some food policy issues like y'all are doing and think about is access to healthy, affordable foods important to prevent obesity and keep people from being hungry and prevent diabetes? And I would submit to you that it is very, very important. Is access to healthy, affordable foods important if you have a low-income person on diabetes and you're telling them you need to eat healthy, be physically active, and here's your prescriptions Oh, they can, sometimes, they can sometimes fill the prescriptions, but sometimes they live in communities where there is no uh, supermarket like the ones that many of us might be used to going to and having a great selection of fruits and vegetables year-round. Here's a World Health Organization quote that I think is an important quote as you think about policy. This idea that being thin is easy is not fair. It's not a fair thing to believe. Um, it is not a fair thing to believe. The World Health Organization recognizes that healthy choices have to be the easy choices. And let's go back to the burger versus the apples and broccoli. If the apples and broccoli were priced in a way that a family could say, this is a wise way to use our dollars, and understood that it was, and then could do it, then that would be the easier choice.